Yes, people, welcome back to Albert J TV. It has been a while. Um, I've not done the content series on underrated footballers for quite a while now. I think the last one I did was, oh, I can't remember now, was it Carnu or um, the Berichi Eze? I can't remember now. But yeah, guys, um, it's been a while. But again, thank you for staying with me and being loyal. Um, so yes, today's underrated football I'm going to talk about is... Everton, current Everton, French fullback international, Luca Dean. Um, it's weird because I actually was gonna meant to do this quite a while ago, and I'm gonna sort of do this content video based on what my feelings would have probably been partly, let's say, four, five, six weeks ago. Um, obviously, we've had a transfer window between that, but before I get into it, guys, you know the usual. Um, link is in the description. Get me on my social media on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the content. First time watchers, welcome aboard. Um, yeah, Luca Dean. I think this guy's a fantastic fullback, man. Um, has had um, travelled, man. He's he started out in France. Um, he spent time on loan in Italy, at Roma. Um, he's spent time in Spain for Barcelona as well. Um, Brilliant. He started out his career, I think, in 2010, playing for the B team in Lille, then gets his opportunity in the first team, um, gets a move to Paris Saint-Germain. Um, but in that period of Paris Saint-Germain, he had a loan spell at Roma. And after Paris Saint-Germain, got the move to Barcelona, um, spent a couple of years at Barcelona, I believe, and then got the move to the Premier League with Everton in the 2018-2019 season. Um, in modern day, modern day football, you hear a lot of ex-players and pundits talk about defenders or fullbacks need to learn to defend. Um, I think they say about every single fullback in the league, but you know, football's moved on. You know, uh, modern day fullback, as well as def as well as your defensive duties, you've got to be able to get forward as well. Um, and I think he does both exceptionally well. The Evertonian fans will not probably know better than I will, but from what I've seen of him, um, if I was doing this content series before the transfer window, I wouldn't even say four, five, six weeks ago, um, I would think he would get into Man City's team at fullback, ahead of Bernard Mendy. He would get into Tottenham's team before they bought um, Regulion. He would definitely get into Manchester United team before they bought Tellers. Um, I think the only two teams he wouldn't probably walk into in terms of first team choice would be people are going to think I'm being biased. You know, if people know my my feelings about Kieran Tierney, it would be Arsenal, or Kieran Tierney, and Andy Robertson at Liverpool. Other than that, I think he would walk into every Premier League team at left back. I think he's that good, and he offers a bit more in terms of. His set piece play, um, his ability to get forward, good delivery, and a good free kick taker as well. Um, so yeah, he's won league titles in Spain and France. Um, has represented France at every level from under 16s right through to the French national team. Um, he was part of the, I think it was the under 20s France World Cup winning team in 2013. Um, he got his first senior call-up in 2014. Uh, I think he was part of the 2016 European Championship squad that obviously lost that final to Portugal. And I believe, I think he either, I can't remember if he made the squad in the 2018 World Cup or he was on the standby. But this guy's an exceptional fullback. And like I said, I can't speak highly enough of him. I'm, everybody knows I'm an Arsenal fan, but you can appreciate good quality footballers at different sides. Um, and yeah, he's a fabulous fullback, man. Um, when he came to Everton uh, in his first full season, he was joint player of the season at uh, the club's player of the season with at the time Idris Gay, Idris Gay, sorry, Idris Gay, sorry, um, who I think went then moved on to Paris Saint Germain if I if I got that correctly. But yeah, Luca Dean's a fabulous fullback, man. Like I said, I personally think he would get into most Premier Premier League clubs as first choice, with, with me probably, with the exception of probably Arsenal and Liverpool, um, because you've got the, the, the Scottish connection of Kieran Tierney and, and Andy Robertson. But um, 
27 years old, I believe. So still in the still got many, many years. And you know, I've, what I've seen from the beginning of this season, I think he's picked up from the season before at Everton. Um, a quality fullback. Um, I think very underrated. Um, goes under the radar. Um, and yeah, you know what? From an outsider point of view, in terms of nothing, sort of not talking about Arsenal. Listen, I'm glad to see players come over to this league and perform at the highest level and 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 offer something in terms of entertainment and your craft as a fullback, whether that's been going forward and defensively. But yes, guys, drop in the comments down below. Tell me what you think about my choice of under eight footballer this time in Luca Dean. Um, do you agree? Um, do you think he's underrated? You might even think he's overrated. Um, yeah, drop your comments down below. Tell me your thoughts. Guys, you know the drill by now. Um, smash the like button, please. Um, hit the notification bell for when my content comes out. And you can get me on Twitter and Instagram. Link is in the description. And like I said, subscribe to the channel. That is me, Albert JTV, over and out. Hashtag underrated footballers. Hashtag Luca Dean.